So far, we have already installed our Nginx web proxy and a simple web page. So now in this video, what we're going to do is to install WordPress website easiest way. And the second one will we be using a custom image. For the first WordPress website, we're going to be using this Ever Ramos repo, Docker WordPress here. And we're going to copy the code. We get back to our server and let's get back to the WordPress directory. But this time we don't have it. So let's Let's get back to levels and now let's create the WordPress directory. So now we are there. For each WordPress project, you need to create a new folder for the sake of organization. So in this case, my project name is Web Patriarch. And then I clone here the repo space dot. And that's it. As always, we need to create a .m file and a docker compose yaml fortunately in this case they are already created for us so what we only need to do is to create a .m file and edit it so here we edit this name so i type dollar sign to get to the to the end of the line and then i to start editing and I paste here the name of a project escape and then I continue and here in uh, database version i do not recommend to use the latest one because whenever you start the docker compose yaml and if time has passed by it will install the latest version of mariadb and if you had already worked in your wordpress correctly with a specific version then your wordpress will crash if it's not compatible and also for documentation sake it's always good to use a specific version i also change whenever i find this word new site for my project name so in order not to search for it i can type slash new site and i will look for it so i i type enter and then i insert and i paste my project name escape and then i type on n as for next i find it here i i replace with my project name escape next i as insert and i replace it here for my project name escape next i and then I replace again, escape, n, and nothing more is found. Also, other things we need to edit is our email to receive notifications from Let's Encrypt. Notify me. Also, one important thing is to edit our domain or domains related to this press project. So I'm going to paste my domain. In this case, as for WordPress version, it's fine using the latest one. And last but not least, we should specify our password for the database and user. So let's place always strong passwords. So for this, you can visit a secure password generator. Generate password. I don't like it. So you can choose how strong you want it. Generate password, you copy, and at the end you also change something just for security sake. Database name, something you, you want accordingly if you are really paranoid. Once that's done, you're good to go and save everything. Escape, colon, write, and quit. Lowercase. Now let's go ahead and edit the Docker Compose file. So let's search for a new site. New site enter here i find it i to insert i replace it with my project escape next n i i start replacing escape next insert escape next insert one thing is that we will not be using this wp cli so i will comment that out or you can even delete it insert i I don't know why it's moving this, I don't like it, but anyway, I'm commenting everything. Escape, save, then I keep searching for, for new site. I think that's pretty much it. So we save and exit, escape, colon, write, and quit. So finally, we execute docker compose up hyphen D.
it's finished. So let's go and check our browser. So we're typing Web Patriarch. In this case, sometimes the Let's Encrypt certificate is not instant. So we need to wait for some minutes more. Meanwhile, we check our Docker containers. Docker PS. So we already got a WordPress latest with MariaDB, the simple web page, and these three containers belong to our Nginx reverse proxy. So after some minutes, we reload the page, and now it's working. So let's go and install it. So we're going to fill the information here, Web Patriarch, and my password, and install WordPress. We made it. We access, yeah. And that's it. So let's try updating something. Let's update the plugins. It's working. So now let's install another one. New plugin. WP Vivid. This is a nice plugin for migration. So we're going to install the backup and migration by WP Vivid. We activate it. So I want to show you something. Let's go to settings, advanced settings. For example, if you wanted to install PDO, we need for this PDO MySQL. If I save your changes, it says that the extension is not detected. This is because the official WordPress image from Docker does not contain this extension. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to customize our own WordPress image so we can install the PDO MySQL extension.